One of the more common procedures in a material testing lab is to determine the resistance to load, deformation, compressive strength, and shear strength of soil, asphalt, concrete, and other composite material specimens to ensure predictable performance over time. Testing protocols are unique to each test, but similarities in loading forces and specimen sizes have allowed geotechnical, soil mechanics, and asphalt testing to be performed by a single load frame using specialized fixtures and components. Most load frames share similar basic features, such as size. Benchtop machines offer ease of use and convenience. Loading systems consist of an electric motor connected to a gearbox that drives a mechanical jack screw. And load frames are carefully engineered to ensure loads are generated at the desired strain rate. Here's what to consider when selecting a load frame. Total capacity of the load frame should be well beyond the highest loads likely to be tested. Loading to or near the maximum load capacity time after time will eventually degrade components, resulting in frequent repairs in a shortened service life. A load frame with a total capacity of about 20% higher than the projected maximum test load should be considered. Strain rate or platen speed must meet the requirements and tolerances across the loading spectrum for the desired test application. Load frames with low strain rates and close tolerances for speed often require a stepper motor to achieve a higher degree of strain rate accuracy. The daylight opening or the maximum frame opening is the distance between the two vertical rods and the distance from the top of the lower platen to the bottom of the horizontal crosshead. This dimension must be large enough to accommodate the specimen, fixtures, test cells, platens, and accessories when testing is underway. A corrosion resistant bottom platen, which supports the specimen and whatever fixtures are required, needs to be large enough to fully support samples and fixtures and thick enough to carry the maximum loads and resist deflection. The horizontal crosshead bears all the force applied during testing. Strength, rigidity, ease of adjustment and adaptability in device anchoring should be considered. Load frame controls should be logically positioned, easy to read and easy to understand. And finally, consider how quickly and easily do components integrate with the load frame. Gilson load frames are high quality instruments designed to meet the widest range of ASTM and ASTO test specifications. Choose from five different models built for geotechnical laboratory testing. Two additional Marshall Stability load frames are purpose built, but will quickly adapt for other related asphalt tests. And for ease of use and repeatable, accurate specimen determinations, outfit your Gilson load frame with quality Gilson components. And utilize Gilson's data acquisition software, where your data can be exported to a spreadsheet application or converted into a PDF document. For any questions about the Gilson load frame or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.